The exploration of space represents the greatest adventure in human history. It inspires us to dream, to explore and to push the boundaries of what is possible. Back in the years when India's space journey started along with the launch of the Aryabhatta satellite in 1975, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai led the way. The mission was simple to use space tech to help India grow. Fast forward to 2008 and the Chandrayaan 1 was the star of the show. It set out to explore the moon and boy did it have an adventure. Chandrayaan 1 blasted off into the space from Sri Harikota filled with excitement and curiosity. But like any big adventure, there were bumps along the way. Technical troubles popped up, yet Chandrayaan 1 didn't give up. It was determined to learn all it could about the moon. Then came the big moment on November 14th, 2008. The moon impact probe broke away from the main craft and landed near the lunar south pole. It was like painting a masterpiece with a perfect brush stroke. And what it found was jaw-dropping water ice on the moon. This discovery was a game changer, opening up new possibilities for exploring our celestial neighbor. But wait, there's drama. NASA said they found water on the moon too, causing a bit of a stir. Isro Do stood firm saying they found it first. It was like a cosmic showdown. Years passed and NASA finally confirmed Chandrayaan 1's presence using advanced radar technology. There it was orbiting the moon like a silent sentinel. Chandrayaan 1's discovery of water on the moon was a big deal. It showed that India's got what it takes to explore space, inspiring everyone to keep dreaming big and reaching for the stars. After all these ups and downs, ISRO scientists are working hard on sending Indian astronauts to space with the Gaganyaan mission in 2024. Even though Chandrayaan 2 had a little trouble landing in 2019, its orbiter is still sending back lots of useful data about the moon. Oh, and did you hear about Mangalyaan? That's ISRO's Mars mission from 2013. It made India the first Asian country to orbit Mars. ISRO has been launching lots of satellites too. One of their recent missions in February 2021 sent a bunch of satellites into space at once, including one that helps with disaster management and agriculture. Plus, they have got this navigation system called Navic and high-tech satellites called Cartosat, which help with mapping and urban planning. ISRO is always finding new ways to use space tech to improve life here on Earth. Aditya L1 is another mission by the Indian Space Research Organisation that aims to study the sun. Aditya L1 is India's first dedicated solar mission. Its primary objective is to observe the sun's outermost layer, the corona, and study its dynamics and magnetic fields. This mission was also a success, which launched at the year end of 2023. The cost-effective and innovative approach of ISRO in all its space missions has earned admiration and respect from international community. Whether it's executing complex interplanetary missions like Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan or providing vital satellite services for communication, navigation and weather forecasting, ISRO's contributions have not only bolstered India's capabilities but have also inspired nations worldwide. Through its remarkable achievements, ISRO continues to elevate India's stature as a front runner in space science and technology, making the nation proud on the world stage. Every Indian should swell with pride at ISRO's remarkable achievements, which epitomizes the nation's spirit of innovation and scientific prowess. From launching satellites to exploring distant planets, ISRO's successes showcase India's ability to excel on the global stage. These accomplishments not only benefit the nation but also inspire all the Indians to dream big and embrace the possibilities of the future. Finding this story interesting? Then stay tuned with the Cognizant Crew for more such videos and never let your curiosity die. Thank you.